So let's go ahead and just start with some just good old marching. So just lifting up those alternate knees, maybe starting to incorporate the arms here, just a little bit of swinging on each side to get things moving. And throughout our practice, especially here at the beginning, kind of set the tone, make sure that you're breathing because breath is really something that we can rely on during our workout as a tool to just help us out and give us a little bit more stamina. So just really getting things moving here. If you wanna kind of transition to a light jog, kind of kicking things up a notch here for the next 15 seconds. And you can always just continue to march instead. That's perfectly fine. It's nice light bounce here. Okay, transitioning. So with our warm-up, just create a, right, a wide stance with the feet. We're just gonna bring the arms out and we'll just start to tap each alternate foot here. So just reaching and if you don't make contact, that's okay. So just those opposite feet here for 10 more seconds. Okay, let's tap one more time to each side. And just to get our core a little bit more warmed up here, last little warm up before we start our first circuit, you're just gonna bring your arms kind of up and open, and we're just gonna do a little twist, a little stabilization in the middle, kind of waking up those abdominal muscles. Feel that twist and squeeze in the core. Yep, you got it. So we'll go ahead and go for one more on each side. All right, just kind of shake it out here. We're gonna get prepared to get into our first circuit. So I've only got two circuits for us today. We're gonna do each one twice. Let me just make sure that this is crooked or anything. Okay, I think we're all right. Okay, so first movement in our first circuit. We are gonna go ahead and do a combination of jumping jacks. So starting on the right side here, let's start, we're gonna tap right, left, and then jump, jump again, right? Left, two jumping jacks. So you can always just do your taps and skip the jumps here. So think cardio, starting to gently get our heart rates up with any combination of jumping jacks. Tap right left, we're jumping, jacks. And it's okay if we even go slower here. We can go right, left, jump, jump. Sometimes I get a little speedy by accident, so please just know that it's okay if you take it and not you're too slower. I'll try to be mindful of that myself. These are gonna be our last two jacks. Great job, that was a whole minute. We are gonna move on to our next exercise. So doing some standing cross crunches, we're gonna do singles. So one side for 30 seconds, and then the other side for 30 seconds. So go ahead and bring your right hand behind your right head, bending through the elbow little bit of bend in the knees and we're gonna crunch just on that one side squeeze take it at a pace that's safe so we're really feeling that crunch in the left side obliques got about five more seconds on this side Last one, and left hand behind the ear, switch, crunch. So don't stress about touching knee to elbow. You're just reaching them towards each other to create that nice squeeze. So healthy for the body to do like cross motions across that middle line. 
great for the body and for our mind as well. Last one. All right, great job, you guys. Third exercise in this circuit. Woo. We are gonna come down to the floor and attempt to do mountain climbers for a whole minute. So a minute is kind of a long time to do mountain climbers, especially if we're building up our strength and plank. So what I want you to do is just go to a happy medium and then rest when you feel like you need to. If this is something you've really got down, maybe you continue through with the whole minute. So come on down. And you can even take them slow or fast. And I'll kind of show both. So get set up in your plank position. So if I'm going slow, little squeeze here, right? And this is fine. You can always practice holding plank and skipping the climbers as well. So I'm gonna go slow for the most part. I'm gonna do eventually a little burst of quick ones and then probably go back to slow ones. So if I'm going quick, I'm just a little more bouncy. So make sure those arms and shoulders are plugged in. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Getting closer, resting whenever you need to. We're almost there for five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Great. Ooh, these minute intervals are really getting me today. I'm used to those 30 second ones. So last exercise in the circuit, we're gonna do a crunch variation. So come on down to your back. We're gonna take the legs long up, feet up towards the sky, and we're just gonna crunch up towards our toes. So think of using the entire core, feel that squeeze at the top. Probably feeling those lower abdominals kicking in a little more here as well. Breathing in and out. We're halfway there. And just know if you need extra neck support, we can always do a hand behind the head and reach with those opposite fingertips. All right, you guys can do it. We've only got 10 seconds. Last crunch. Okay, you did it. So give yourself a little rest here. We're gonna rest for about the next 45 seconds before we prepare to do that circuit one more time. And after that, we'll move on to a new one. So changing up our format a little bit here today by incorporating those multiple sets of things here for a little bit of longer time, just to make sure that we do hit things a little bit harder. Also giving room for rest room for different variations. So continue to catch your breath. Know that we are gonna start soon. So remember what the first movement is? Jumping jack variation. So it's back to that tap, tap, go for two. And so you can also just jumping, jumping jack it out the whole time. That would be a challenge. Or if we need to kick it back, just go from side to side. All right? So let's get started in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So we're tapping right, left, hop, hop, right, left, jumping jacks. So make things your own. Don't ever feel ashamed of whatever variation that you have to take. Cause Hey, we all start somewhere, right? We all have our different strengths. We're halfway through. Nice. Getting closer. Keep your breath moving. 
10 seconds. One more. And hop, hop. Okay. All right, we're moving on to our next one. Remember, it's the, the cross crunches. So it's one side at a time. We bring that right hand behind the ear, bending through the elbow. And we're gonna go ahead and crunch. Squeeze. Remember that approach of quality over quantity. We are gonna even it out on the other side. A little less than 10 seconds. Go for one more and switch. Left arm crunches over to that right knee. Squeeze. It's okay to bend that standing leg to keep comfort to the lower spine. Got 10 seconds. Last one. Okay, great. We are halfway through our circuit. We're gonna kick it up a notch with those mountain climbers here. Oh, you're welcome, Emily. Glad you could join us for a little bit. So go ahead, get down in your plank. We will go ahead and start. So plank. So I love mountain climbers. To me, they are like the definition of a cardio crunch move because they promote cardio, especially if we're doing our fast variation and they rely so much on core strength since we're in that plank the whole time. Remember, the, uh, the full minute is just a goal. Well, don't feel bad if you can't make it through the whole thing. It's any combination of slow or quick, planking, any modification, or even rest. Down to 15 seconds. Breathing in and out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Okay, way to finish strong. Coming around to our spines. We've got that last movement, which is our crunches. Remember, it's the long leg version. So feet up towards the sky. And let's go. Think of reaching up or towards your toes. If this feels like too much on the low back, you can always just bring the shins parallel. Sorry, I didn't mention that on the first time. And do this variation too. I know for all, not all of this, all of us, this will feel good on the spine. So it's okay to challenge, but we don't want to put ourselves in pain. I'm not a huge fan of the no pain, no gain because it kind of sends the wrong message here. Yep, we do have to work hard, but more than anything, to see a gain in our workout, whether that's your ability or growing muscles, we need to be consistent. So let's go three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're moving in to another round of a longer rest here. So we've made it through that first circuit two times. We've got one more circuit to go, which we'll also be doing two times. It'll be the same format as far as our time intervals go. Oh yeah, these, these first two moves are gonna be fun. Well, the second one you've done with me, the first one's gonna be a little bit new. So just kind of bear with me. I am going to offer several different uh, variations on our first movement of the circuit here because it can be a little bit challenging. So just know there's going to be options. And I'll go over those a little bit more 
closely on the first round of our circuit and then on the second one you'll just pick the one that you know works for you so preparing to get started okay so on this first movement step forward with your left foot you're going to raise your right knee the challenge is going to be to add a little hop so you're either just going to step and raise or step and hop you're going to step back and then back with the other foot so step left little hop step back back so if you're not hopping it'll just look like this let me show from the side if i'm hopping then it's a little cardio and core going and this is just one side so in about 10 seconds we're going to do the other side if this is already something you're more familiar with okay switch so we're stepping right left knee up step down back right left left right right left left right maybe hopping but as i was saying if this is something you're accustomed to already the challenge would be to kind of go for speed or agility go for one more great job we are moving on to some squats so i know squats seem more of like a a lower body or a glute exercise which it is but we are going to use it today with the intention of promoting cardio because they are very cardiovascular oriented as well and get our heart rates up so you're either just going to do some body squats or you can add a hop if you want that little challenge so i'm going to do a little combination of both so if i'm just squatting yep i'll just go down and up remember to always keep your chest lifted up if i'm doing the really hard one i'm just gonna jump the whole time make sure you land toe ball heel nice soft landing so i'm gonna do a combination of both for myself remember it's squat if you're alternating like me, then a jump. 15 seconds, guys. Down to 10. Woo. Make sure you're breathing. One more. Okay, done. Woo. All right. Moving on to bicycle crunches. Stay strong with me, everybody. I'll show two different options. So if you're familiar with the full version and you know that that's something that's doable for you, feel free to go right into that. In three, two, one, if you need a modification, feet flat, knees bent, we'll pick up each foot and reach to those alternate knees with those alternate elbows. So as I said, this is the modified bicycle crunch. Full bicycle crunch as we extend the opposite leg long and straight. So we wanna really think of reaching across the midline of the body, just like we did with our standing cross crunch. Breathe in and out. We're down to 10 seconds. You can do this. We've got it. For four, three, two, one. Ooh, nice work. So one more move in the circuit and then we get to take a rest. So back to a plank exercise we're going to combine some shoulder taps with toe taps so you're going to tap shoulder shoulder toe toe or a combination of any of those again feel free to make it your own 
make it a goal to go for a minute, but if you're not there yet, please rest and rejoin us on the next interval. So as we come into plank, we're tapping left, right, right toe, left toe. So again, I encourage you to make this workout your own. So if it's too much to think about, you could always just do the shoulder taps or just do the toe taps. And if we're just shoulder tapping, a nice happy medium would be to even modify your plank like this. Still getting our core work in. So find what works. We're more than halfway there. At the 45 second mark, Keep it strong. Last toe taps and finished. Go ahead and take your rest. So we are about three quarters of the way through. We just have to repeat our circuit one more time, that second one. So go ahead and continue to rest for about 45 more seconds. So as you're preparing to bust it out one more time, let's go over that step hop again. So remembering you're stepping left, either just raise or hop, step back or step down right, step back left. Or just raise. All right. Remember on the other side, you're stepping right, left, bring it down, step back right. I know it's a little complicated, but I will post this for viewing right after this is done. So feel free Feel free to go back and keep referring until you get it down. So let's prepare to begin on one side in three, two, one, go. So I'm stepping left, hop right. Pick the variation that works. So this is more if I'm going for the speed and agility, but I want to make sure I have the foundation basics down first, okay? You'll naturally be able to go quicker the more you become familiar with it. Almost done with this side. One more. And switch, so step right, pick up left. Woo, you got this guys. Ten more seconds to go. Go for one more full one. Awesome. Moving on to our next one. It's all about the squats. So yes, we are working in the booty a little bit today, but think of it as a cardio exercise. Have that mindset and intention in mind. So ready and go. So for some of us, we're just going to squat it out. Some of us are going to be jumping it out. These always make my lower body really sore. I'm going to go back to my happy medium. So I'm doing one squat, one jump. like this one because it's a variation that I know I can maintain through the whole interval. I don't know if I'm quite there yet with just straight hopping, but hopefully one day. Ten more seconds. One more. Okay, done with squats. Yay. Oh dear, back to those bicycle crunches. So come on around to your mat or the floor. Lay on back. Remember the two different variations. Pick the one that works for you. I'm gonna do modified for the first half. 
full for the second half. So pick what works, bring it on back. No matter what variation, hands behind the head and go. So reaching elbows to opposite kneecaps. And remember that's just a guide to make sure that we really reach. We don't have to make contact unless that's something that helps you out. We're halfway through. Taking it at your own speed. Woo! This bumblebee has been chasing me around again today. Ten seconds. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Yay! We are almost all the way through. Last thing, can you remember what it is? Plank exercise. So we're in our plank, we're gonna do shoulder taps and toe taps. Combination of any of that. Try to go for your minute. If not, just rest when you're ready, okay? You can still meet us and do the cool down together. Okay, so find your plank and go. I'm going tap, 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 tap. Ooh, I just had a spider on my arm. The drawbacks of working out outdoors. Tap, tap, tap. strong. Remember, this is the last thing. Getting closer. Ten seconds. For five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Amazing job, you guys. Take a little pause. If you can, gently and safely bring yourself up to standing. We're gonna cool down together. See if we can let our breath slowly return to normal along with our heart rate. So create a wide stance. You can turn your toes out. We're just gonna do a little plie. Bring your arms up, touch those alternate elbows. Bring it down. Nice, just easy movements. Kind of channeling my past dancer days here. And if, if you like to dance too, now that we've got more awesome classes coming this week, including dance cardio on Wednesday. So go ahead and bring things out to a T. Left hand to the left hip. Reach up and over, stretch. Good. And if you're out of time with me today, just make sure that you kind of take it easy. Do your own cool down, even if it's just doing a gentle walk, even if it's around your house. So bring it up. We're gonna go ahead and face down towards that left toe. I'm gonna reach down towards it. Breathe in and out. I go ahead and step to the middle, stretch out my hamstrings. So engage your core, strong legs, hands to the hip, go ahead and hinge back up, keep your right arm down, left arm up, stretch up and over, breathe. Use your core to exhale, lift up. Hopefully we're starting to kind of slowly return to normal. Face that right leg. You can do hands to the hips or just reach on down. Again, we'll step it back to the middle here. Bend the knees if you need to, hands to the hips, protect your back. Hinge your way back up here. 
Just continue to breathe. You can also sit down and do a little more seated stretching if you like. Um, if you've got something handy to, to hold on to, I would go ahead and hold on to something, even up a wall if you need to here, but kind of stretch out through the quads so that we keep everything balanced. So ideally you'll kind of hold each thing for 30 seconds or so, but it's better to do something than nothing at all. So this will help us with recovery. Your body, think of it just like a machine, just like you warm up and cool down your car. So to keep a good fitness routine going, making sure we incorporate all those steps so that we're nice and well-rounded. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today. Um, this will be available to view later if you want to share it with somebody or uh, perform it again. So I will hopefully see you guys next time.